This video is more for people who are on their spiritual path with Sri Ramayana. Hanuman Chalisa needs no introduction. As we all know, it is the most prominent part in the Aradhana of Anjaniya Swami, written by Goswami Tulsidas. But is there or are there any such slokas or mantras related to Bhagwan Sri Ram? What is the oldest bhajana or kirtana or pradhana slokas about Bhagwan Sri Ram? This video is just about that question. Yes, and the answer is yes. We do have just like Hanuman Chalisa. We have Sri Rama Stavam hidden in the chapter number 117, Yuddha Kanda of Sri Ramayana. And the context goes like this. At the end of Rama Ravana Yuddham, when Ravana was killed by Rama, everybody erupts with joy. The Vanarasena, the Devas, the gods, everybody. And when the Devas descend onto earth and start bowing down to Sri Rama, he is not aware that he is an incarnation of Sri Mahavishnu. Throughout his life, he was born as a common man and he lives his life as a common man. And the entire Sri Ramayanam, this point, this chapter, chapter number 117 in Yuddha Kanda, this is where he was reminded that he is the avatar of Sri Mahavishnu. To remind that Sri Rama himself is an incarnation of Sri Mahavishnu, Brahmadeva sings this stavam in the praise of Sri Rama. This is called as Sri Rama Stavam. And like I said, this Sri Rama Stavam is hidden in the chapter number 117, Yuddha Kanda of Sri Ramayana. Unfortunately, it was not that prominent. We don't know much about this Stavam as much as we do about Sri Hanuman Chalisa. So this is Sri Rama Stavam. Stavam means a song that is sung in the praise of a divinity is called as Stavam, just like Stotram or Stuti. Some 18 slokas that run through chapter number 117 of Yuddha Kanda. This is where Sri Rama Stavam is hidden. This is the oldest prayer about Bhagavan Sri Ram and unthinkably the first one. It is present in the Valmiki Mahashri Sri Ramayanam itself. In the entirety of Sri Ramayanam, this is the only place where Sri Rama is praised as or identified as Sri Mahavishnu, with the exception of Sankshepa Ramayana, obviously. And some of the slokas of Sri Rama's Thavam goes like this. Bhavan Narayano Deva Sri Mams Chakrayuda Prabhu Yekasrungo Varahastvam Bhuta Bhavya Sapannajit Sri Rama, you are the Lord Narayana himself, the glorious God who wields the Chakrayudha and you are the Adi Varaha who conquered the enemies in the past and will in the future. Sita Lakshmir Bhavan Vishnur Deva Krishna Prajapatihi Vadardham Ravana Sieha Pravishto Manushim Tanum Brahma says that Sita is none other than Goddess Lakshmi herself and Sri Rama you are the incarnation of Lord Vishnu and you came down in the human form as Rama. Here the interesting part is at the end of Sri Ramayanam as part of this Thavam, Brahma addresses Sri Rama as Krishna as well. At the end of this thavam, just like how we have Joy Pade Hanuman Chalisa, Hoi Siddhi Saki Gauri Sa, just like that. It's also written here that whoever recites this thavam will live in peace and prosperity. So that is Sri Rama's thavam in short. Like I said, it's 18 slokas running through chapter number 117 in Yuddha Kanda. Unfortunately, it is not well known to people. It's quite hidden in Sri Ramayana itself. The first and the oldest pradhana about Bhagavan Sri Ram. It is not well known, at least not as much as we do know Hanuman Chalisa. And that's in brief about the hidden chapter of Sri Ramayana. And as always, thanks for watching.